Welcome to another weekend vlog. Today is Thursday, but we're going to a happy hour and it is 70 degrees and sunny outside and spring's officially here. So that means that we're starting our weekend on Thursday this week. I make the rules, okay? I'm so excited right now when I tell you guys, the only thing that I've been thinking about is summer, spring, when it's gonna get warm, just I'm so excited, okay? So me and my friend Brielle made plans to go to a happy hour in the West Village. It's 4.02 right now. I need to get out of here because I need to go to the path. We found this place on TikTok. I forget the name, you'll see, but apparently it's like $5 beer six dollar wine seven dollar spritz something something eight dollar pizza i don't know it's like really cheap so we're gonna try to go there and i'm really excited i kind of feel naked right now because i have not dressed like this in so long but i don't think i need a jacket which is kind of fire but i also feel just naked i don't know tops from my fox skirts american eagle air forces and little louis vuitton bag i feel naked i literally like i don't know i feel weird but i need to go so no more time to think about it irrationally happy right now because of this weather i could start doing backflips if i knew how to do them i would be that's the excitement i have for the sun shining cheers, cheers. all right let's try it cheese test is it good it's a tuesday though i don't know what i got summer spritz wait what does this taste like Ooh. It just tastes like prosecco, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I made it home. I love an early dinner and drink situation because getting home before 8 p.m. is actually the best feeling ever. Low key, we overestimated how warm exactly it would be out because once the sun went down, we were kind of freezing, but not as freezing as we would be last week. So that's all that matters. Such a good time. Drinks were amazing. Vibes were great. I love making new friends. It's so fun. You guys always ask me how to make friends in your 20s. We literally met on TikTok. I saw one of her videos on my free page and was like, you're funny. Can we be friends? But I just came home to four pair boxes. So I thought we could open them together. And then I'm just gonna edit for the rest of the night. Oh, oh my God. Wait, I literally requested this on TikTok shop. I realized that as creators, you can request things from TikTok shop. And I didn't think it was actually gonna come, but hello, it's here. It's the BK Beauty Foundation Brush. This thing literally lives on my free page and I was like, all right, let's see if they'll send it to me. Okay, it's really soft, but it's not as dense as I thought it would be. I feel like I typically like a more dense foundation brush, but we won't know. Actually, I feel kind of more dense on the face. Weird, okay. I'm definitely gonna try that out on TikTok. Okay, next up, Ariane Skincare. I love this brand. This is their PHA Exfoliating Facial. Their products are all actually amazing. I'm obsessed with everything I've tried. Next, we have Function of Beauty. This is their dry shampoo and regular shampoo and this little strengthen booster thingy, my bob. And lastly, we have Gisu. I love this brand. I love this brand a lot. I'm excited, I haven't tried this. This is their Honey Infused Hair Mask. I love their packaging. It's gonna do it for me every single time. It's so cute. And we got their honey infused leave-in conditioner and then the hair oil, which I've tried and love. I'm so excited about the leave-in conditioner and hair mask. Everything I've tried from Yasu has been so good. So I'm so excited. Thank you so much to all those brands. Now I'm going to put on pajamas, take my makeup off and just lay in bed and edit for the rest of the night. So I'll probably see you guys in the morning. You guys know I've never been shy when it comes to talking about mental health. I think it is so, so important. So I'm so excited to talk about today's sponsor with you guys, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is actually an online therapy platform. It's super convenient and flexible. One thing I really appreciate about BetterHelp is the ease of finding a therapist that fits your needs. You fill out a questionnaire and just like that, you're matched with a licensed therapist in most cases within 48 hours. BetterHelp is also entirely online, making therapy accessible wherever you are, whether through phone calls, video chats, or messages. Messaging. It's just therapy tailored to your comfort levels. Also something that I really like if the first therapist isn't the perfect match for you because a lot of the time therapy is trial and error, you can switch your therapist free of any additional charge. I really encourage you guys to take that step towards personal growth. You guys can visit betterhelp.com slash Pulitano and get 10% off your first month. Taking care of your mental health is just as important as taking care of your physical health. It's so, so important. If you guys are interested, it will be linked down below and let's get back into the vlog. Hey guys it's the next day now it's friday today is gonna be a really fun day because we have britney's birthday tonight she's throwing a little party in the city so right now i'm actually driving to the mall because i am last a minute and i need to get her a gift i already got something and i did try going shopping the other day in the city and nothing was speaking to me and i just couldn't find exactly what i was looking for so now we're going to the mall it's 1 30 i spent the morning editing my video for today so that's up feeling good and we're just gonna go shopping and hopefully find Brittany a gift. Like I have to find something today. So that's the mission of the hour. 
I'm also starving, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I've been actually obsessed with Ariana Grande's new album. It's so good. What is this angle of my camera? I feel like it looks weird. Anyway, I've been literally addicted to Eternal Sunshine. I can't stop listening to it. Oh, but I don't wanna hide. We can't be friends. I was a hated you. I was the one true. don't even know any of the words to any of these songs yet but once i do it is over for everybody i mean it's really not actually because i can't sing for the life of me but i'll be really happy when i do know all the words okay i'm parking right now i'm so confused i just saw a man in a wheelchair like an electric wheelchair going through the parking lot and he was wearing like a cheetah print like shower towel and slippers in the parking lot of the mall is that legal? Because I just feel like it shouldn't be. I'm literally scared. Anyway, made it. Yay. Hopefully we find some stuff that actually was crazy. Like, I'm so confused right now. I took a video of him to send to my friends, but I feel bad putting it in because I feel like he can't be in his right state of mind at all. Like, there's just no freaking way. Like, that's really sad. Like, why is he doing that? Is he okay? All right, on that note, let's go into the mall. I hope that I find Brittany a cute little gift. So far I'm having zero luck. I just can't find anything that I like enough to get her. Herbin, really disappointed. Their online section was so good. I need to stop being last minute with gifts because that's my downfall. The gift has been secured. Okay, mission accomplished. I got her a little set from Aritzia. I already got her a couple little things from Anthropology too. They wrapped it up all nice, but I got her this really cute pink short and t-shirt set. Can't go wrong with a little matching set from Maritzia. I hope she likes it. If not, got a gift receipt. I just, I couldn't find anything. Every store was failing me miserably. I feel like shopping in person just isn't it anymore. Like stores just don't have the good stuff. I literally was on Urban Outfitters the other day and they had the cutest little like PJ sets and all this stuff, but not in person, so whatever. But I really like that Aritzia set. It was so cute and it was like the last one left. So that worked out. Now I'm gonna go home and we'll probably start getting ready. I need to do my hair. I need to wash it and I wanna blow it out or curl it or something. So we gotta get going. It's a few hours later. I came home, showered, blew out my hair. Now I'm doing my makeup. Carly's on her way here. I am so excited to party tonight. I'll show you guys the final look in a second. I fully just had to change my entire outfit last minute because the zipper literally broke on the pants that I wanted to wear. So that was so fun. I cannot believe that that just happened, but I do like my outfit, I think. <laughs> Not 100% convinced, but. Okay, here's my outfit. This top's from Revolve, I'll link it down below. And these pants are from, I honestly can't remember, I'll put it on the screen. And my shoes are spat in. I do really like this outfit, but I wanted to wear those cheetah pants. And I literally just got them in the mail the other day. And I tried them on and they were perfectly fine. And now the zipper literally will not go up. I took them off and was trying to get the zipper up off my body too, wasn't working. So this outfit will have to do. I love the top, it's so sparkly and fun. So cute. Okay, I think Carly's here. We're in our Uber, we're on our way the little place that Brittany's having her party at and I'm so excited. We're gonna party. I need margaritas injected inside of my veins. I decided. <laughs> <laughs> right now last night was a lot of fun i barely filmed anything because i was just like with my friends and just having a good time but it was very very fun i'm so tired i went to bed so late i don't think i'm actually hungover though i don't think you know and sometimes though the hangover hits you like later in the day i'm scared that that's gonna happen but i don't think it will i just woke up it's 9 46 and I'm gonna get out of bed and start getting ready because I'm going to my hometown. My cousin Olivia works for this company, Schumacher, which is like a fabric kind of company. They make like pillows, couches, they just like make fabric. Actually, I don't know if they make couches. They make wallpapers, all these sorts of things. 
and there's this thing today called the ticking tent and basically i think that there's gonna be like a bunch of vendors and things and a bunch of different like home decor type brands are just selling stuff at these tents so i'm going with my mom and my aunt so that should be actually so fun i love looking at home decor like that's actually one of my like favorite things ever so i'm excited to see my family so i need to get ready for that i look like a fucking nut job and i'm exhausted i actually don't feel like doing anything at all i feel like just laying right here in this bed but no i can't i can't why does my hair look like that i swear i can't do second day hair anymore because i sleep on it and make it why is that a curl i'm gonna get this i'm gonna get this all together brb okay it's 11 30 i just finished getting ready this is my very basic outfit of the day i feel like i'm not gonna need the jacket but i'm wearing it in case i have on this sweater from white fox these jeans from white fox this jacket from white fox my bag is from the real real air forces i have my hair in this little bun for now because i didn't feel like fixing the blowout because it literally got curly i think i was sweating in my sleep i don't really know what was going on so i'm just hoping that the bun makes it like wavy and pretty and whatever i don't know but i'm excited let's go i'm excited for some like family time and to see my aunt and my mom and my cousin and to hopefully find some cute home decor you guys know the cb2 blanket that i have been talking about a little bit i still really want that but i'm hoping maybe i'll find like a cheaper or like different kind of variation of it today i don't know if they sell blankets at this thing i honestly don't even know what to really expect watch it's like something completely different than what i explained i don't know but maybe i can find some cute stuff for my apartment we'll see hi we're on our way to the thingy my bobber. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I love you. I need a vacay. We're going on a vacay? You on know. Thursday, I am crashing her girl's trip to yeah. Nashville. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. I'm I invited myself. Nobody invited me, I invited myself and I'm going, so. No, it's gonna be so much fun. Nick's girl mm -hmm. to be there with her friends. You know, but the thing is, I need like a vacation. Like, need, like, like on the beach. Yeah, I'm tropical. Me and Rachel are going on a trip. Right, where? Where? come? April. We're going to Florida. So cool cat. <laughs> We're just walking on these lands that this little thing's on. And it's so cute. Like, look at how beautiful this is. I don't even know where the hell we are, but I love it. They had free champagne. Hi. I got home from the little thingy we were at, which was so freaking cute. Like the property that it was on was so beautiful. We were just walking around exploring. The shops were really cute. I didn't buy anything, but everything was super, super cute. It was a really fun day. My mom and dad went to dinner with their friends. My brothers both aren't here. I'm home alone. I just ordered Chipotle. So I'm just gonna eat and watch a movie and then I'll leave after that. I'm gonna go back to my apartment. I'm watching Irish Wish. I didn't even know what it was called that. Tomorrow St. Patrick's. I just glitched. It's tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day, and I'm watching Irish Wish. I only am watching it because it's the new Lindsay Lohan movie, and I love her, but I didn't realize that was the name. I'm excited. So I'm going to watch that and then go. And yeah, I'm not doing anything tonight. I decided to not go out because I'm day drinking tomorrow on St. Patrick's Day with Hannah, which today is the big bar crawl, but we're doing it tomorrow instead. Look at Harlow. Little baby. Are you being a cute chicken? A cute, sweet little chicken. I love that face. My Chipotle is here. I'm so happy. This movie, it's giving like the Hallmark Channel very cheesy, but the main character boy love interest I'm gathering is this guy that just came in and he's so cute. Cute Irish man. I like him. I'm so excited. Chipotle is literally just my comfort meal anytime that I'm feeling any sorts of ways I need it. Like I, my hangover, I'm, I'm not hungover, I'm just like tired. Like I feel like it just hit me later in the day and this will cure all. Truly, look at that, it's so good. Uh. 
Happy St. Patrick's Day. Me and Hannah are going to Stone Street, which I'm actually like terrified of because it was crowded yesterday. I've never been. I have lived in New York my entire life, grew up here. Everyone always went to Stone Street, like throughout high school, my whole life. I always refused to go, but we're going today, so. I don't know, I hope it's more chill than it was yesterday. We'll see. I feel like I need to like pre-game this, but it's like 11.30 in the morning, so. When I tell you guys, it just took me so long to get ready because I had an outfit malfunction. The last shirt I had on, my boobs were like protruding out of it and it's like a daytime festivity. I looked like I was going to the club and I felt uncomfortable, so I wanted to change. And then everything I put on, I hated. So this is what I came up with. If you don't like it, don't tell me because I don't know, like I want it to be casual. Like we're going to drink beer, literally. So I have on this Brandy Melville t-shirt that's green. Leather jacket that I always wear. Wait, Fox jeans, Air Forces, green bag to be festive. And my caviar cowboy hat since it has green on it. I like didn't even do my hair. It looks like shit. So I needed a hat and I need a drink now because that just actually made me spiral and now my closet's a mess. So yay. Okay, whatever. Let's go get drunk. Um, the wind is going really nuts today. I need to stop. That was crazy. I almost lost my hat in the station. My hat just went fucking it. zooming. and mac and cheese that Hannah is holding and we're trying to find somewhere to sit and eat it and that's all for now. I'm so excited. This is very fun. Hey, we're having a blast. We are. Oh, I got three pins. My boob. I got three pins. My camera's so dark. Mm, I'm back home. <laughs> I'm actually freaking exhausted i need pajamas on immediately and this makeup off my freaking face and i need to clean my apartment it's literally a disaster look at from getting ready i wore the most basic outfit ever and still well in my defense i was trying to wear something that wasn't basic and i resorted in something basic because everything i tried on looked fucking weird okay oh my god i'm so tired but that was very fun it wasn't too crowded it definitely got crowded later in the day but it was a little vibe and i enjoyed it we had a good day i'm literally so exhausted i feel like a zombie i think i'm hungover but <laughs> i'm not even drunk anymore this is the thing about day drinking you're hungover at 8 p.m like what is that about hate it but also love it at the same time because I hate being out super late, so. 